Eberflus's defense with the Colts was very good. Mm -hmm. Very didn't make the playoffs this last year. No, yeah. Yeah. It but it wasn't fault. because of the defense at yeah. all. And if you listen to any of the defenders talk about what practice is like, what the standard is like, what the culture is like, I'm excited to see Eberflus get his hands on the Chicago Bears organization as a whole and that defense. Speaking of the Bears organization as a whole, that fucker's up for sale soon. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, yeah. The Bears are about to be up for sale. Oh. Allegedly, uh, Virginia... Hallis McCaskey, uh, the lady who is currently in charge of the entire operation. Virginia McCaskey is not well. She's 99 years old, I believe, and things inside the McCaskies are not either. Hughes wrote on March 11th from Heavy.com, the family has rarely been in this much turmoil over the last 30 years, and there are some close to the organization who believe a sale might actually be on the table once Virginia passes. So this is family members getting pissed off about the percentage of the Bears franchise that is being given to them. Let's assume that one particular member or sibling was going to get a lot of them, a lot of the percentages, more percentage than the others, and the others are pissed off about it. So there's inner scuffle happening. Yeah. So much so that it'll probably lead to a sale, which is what I would assume the three that weren't going to get as much or four, however many, are looking for. Yeah. With that being said, Chicago, third largest city in America? Mm -hmm. uh, second, I think. Nope. Third largest city in America? Mm -hmm. Houston's fourth, working on becoming the yeah, third. Yeah, no, no, Phoenix, yeah, yeah. Oh, Phoenix oh, is no. five. They're no, no, working no, no, on Phoenix. becoming fourth. Uh, we just so, had a lot of babies there the other day. Yeah, Chicago, a lot of baby sex. Boom. A lot of sex, a lot of baby booms ah. happening. But third largest city in America with a franchise that is very old, legendary, and a fan base that is very loyal. That might be like six, seven billion dollars, eight oh, yeah. billion maybe, yeah. to purchase that team. That's exciting times because the Broncos up for sale. Bears might be up for sale. The Chargers were in a conversation mm -hmm. for potential happening at one point. It's a wild time to have a lot of money and be in the NFL. If they sell end of this year and then they already have like the the blueprints of the new stadium, what happens with ownership change with well, that like situation? You acquire everything. I assume the new owner could say, yeah, we Fuck will build this in our vision or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. But they're still going to Arlington. No? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Still know, like, the Arlington Bears are still going to be running mm -hmm. wild all over like, you, I brother. Especially if you're able to buy the Bears, you probably have a lot of money. Going to want to build up. You know, casino, mm -hmm. Patriot Place, hotels, yeah. shops, stores, which is why the Arlington thing seemed to be so, you know, attractive. So for buyers the Bears. just love that because you're being able to build it from scratch and whatever you want, right? You shape it in your image. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also, you're getting the Chicago Bears, which are. Legendary, legendary. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Papa Bear. Very famous fans, too. Uh -huh. So as soon as you become the owner, you automatically become even more relevant. And there are some people out there that have all the money. Yeah. Yeah. All the money. But basically, uh, tease and peace to Mama Bear, first and foremost. Hope she's all right. Virginia, I hope you're okay. Mm -hmm. Love you, Mama Bear. Virginia, you can do it.